Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of January 2021. So, we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, this is for January. A lot of you are going to watch this sooner. Remember, this is for January. And this reading can go vice versa if you are the cross watcher. This could be your energy, okay? But this is intended for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to start right here. What do we have for Aquarius for January 2021? You know, I don't know if we have some sort of drug abuse here or alcohol abuse. <laughs> That's what I just heard. So, I don't know. It may be coming to a head. It may be coming to a head. Um... Firm foundation. So this is the Four of Pentacles. So you are all about having a firm foundation this month. Building up your stability, your security. Wanting only that, right? You're wanting you're wanting uh, a stability this month. And if, it, and if it involves anything but stability, you are likely to throw it out. Because you are in control this month. Red is a, is a color of power. So I feel like this month is about your foundation, maybe about your home, you know, about where you live, about your body as well. You may be focusing on your health. You may be focusing on your home, the health in your home, you know, the atmosphere. Uh, I feel like you're, you're really focused on your stability and your security this month. And anybody that threatens that is probably going to be thrown out, whether it's anybody or anything. If there's substances that are threatening that, they're gone. If it's a person, they're gone. I feel like you're really going to be focusing on your 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 foundations this month. So what do we have for Aquarius in January? Happy birthday if if uh, you're born in January. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. Not always easy, but that is a message that you need to hear. So maybe that's what you're going to be looking for. And if they don't, and if you can't find them, you know, I think that you're going to be uh, shipping them out. I think that you're really going to try, though. I think that you're going to try to focus on the good attributes, but, you know, if if there's somebody in your life that doesn't fit the, the bill, then perhaps you need to, uh, you know, let go of them so that your foundation can be stable. I just, that's the biggest message I have right now. Queen of Cups reverse. You could have some drug or alcohol abuse here. You could be dealing with somebody, or it doesn't have to be. This could be somebody that is very emotional. This is somebody that cries all the time. <clears throat> it could be a water sign. It could be somebody that can't, you know, control themselves. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. You may be dealing with, and it doesn't have to be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, this person... Um, <clears throat> you may not be compatible with them. Excuse me, my coughing. I don't know why it's happening. But anyhow, I feel like there's there's some sort of self-loathing. There's manipulation, victim mentality. Whoever you're dealing with uh, may be very needy. Okay, They may be very needy and they may be drowning in their emotions and they're bringing you down. I do feel like uh, you're dealing with somebody that can't master their... I mean, I feel like it's addictions, but I could be wrong. Um, now, something is going to happen very suddenly because this is a shocking entrance or a shocking change or a shocking departure. It could be a sudden departure. You could be dealing with somebody that makes a spur-of-the-moment decision that comes up with a new idea, takes a new approach, and gets the hell out. Or you may be pushing somebody right the hell out. This Knight of Swords is very fast-moving energy, whether it's an arrival or a departure. This is um, a shock, okay? This is a shock. It could be 
a shocking change, somebody getting out really, really, really quick. Could be a water sign, could be an air sign. You could be telling somebody to get out really, really, really quick. You could get upset, okay? You may be, you could get upset, get very mad and say, get the hell out, that kind of thing. Um, this is making a getaway. Somebody is going to be making a getaway. I thought I had a card flip over. I did. Mm, this is really discontent and sad. Uh, we have somebody here that's not happy. They're not happy. They're not interested. They're not interested in changing. They're not going to change for any reason. This is somebody that is very stubborn, whoever you're dealing with. Um, and I think that they're not happy. And perhaps you're not happy either. Uh, King of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have water, earth, and air. So whoever you're dealing with probably doesn't work or they don't they don't work enough or they don't have any money or they're not stable, they're not secure. And I feel like they 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 may um not be contributing enough and maybe you're you get to the point where you just can't take it anymore and you blow blow a gasket, you know, something like that. I do feel like there's some sort of illegal business going on here as well. You may be dealing with somebody that does things against the law. Um, this person um, only cares about themselves. They don't really care about being in a relationship. They're not interested in romance. They're interested in, you know, drugs, sex, alcohol, uh, gambling, or something like that. Whoever you're dealing with is not really interested in romance by the looks of things. This person is very shallow, very materialistic, maybe ruthless at time. Doesn't really want to work either. So it feels like this person is lazy. If they're not lazy, they may throw themselves into their job. It could go either way. This person may be may put their job more important than anything else. Um, or money more important. Or doing things illegally. Because there's illegal stuff here. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe like selling drugs or I don't know what it is, but I could be wrong. Um, anyhow, I feel as though if it's not, if it's not drugs, it could just be this person doesn't work. You know, they're lazy, you know, and they're not really interested in changing. This person may have lost their, their, uh, get up and go, put it that way. It's like they've lost, maybe they don't know their value. They've lost their value to care. They just don't care. Whoever you're dealing with just doesn't care. They aren't interested in, maybe they're having problems finding a job. They're not even looking for a job. They're not interested in looking for a job. This person is it, whoever you're dealing with. This may be somebody that you've been living with. You know what I mean? You've been living with this person or working with this person. If this isn't a love relationship, you've been working with them. This does have to do with a foundation. It has to do with a commitment of some sort. I think there's going to be a sudden departure. Somebody's going to suddenly leave because there's. I feel like there's a lot of discontent. There's a lot of unhappiness here. It's like whoever there could be depression. You may be dealing with somebody that is, is self-medicating. They're very very depressed. Um, maybe you're depressed. Could be you. But I do see a commitment here. This has to do with home. Or, or or where you work, there's some sort of, you know, commitment to each other. But there could be somebody else as well, okay? Because this is an unexpected choice in love. Somebody may have another opportunity for love. And they have to choose between the two this month. There's probably one person that is in this scenario that really isn't very loving, isn't very romantic, isn't really expressive of their feelings, is very unstable and insecure and doesn't uh, pull their weight. Now there's somebody else. There's somebody new that is around. This is a new connection, okay? Somebody that you feel a spark with or they feel a spark with. It could go either way. I do feel like there's an unexpected choice in love for you or the person that you're dealing with. And I feel like uh, that's going to be on the table this month. Somebody's going to be deciding, you know, whether they want to stay in their current commitment or they want to go towards a new love connection. So I do think there's a new love connection here. 
um, it's very sudden. I think there's a, a, an opportunity to connect with somebody else. Uh, and somebody's um, feelings are growing for somebody outside of the current relationship. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Oh yes, there's going to be a separation. There's a, there's a choice between two. There's a choice between two here. And there's going to be a separation. There's one, On one hand, there's, there's a couple that there's no compatibility. There's a lot of arguing. There's a disconnection. There's disharmony. And there's an opportunity for somebody that they see eye to eye with. You know, there's an opportunity for a deeper connection with somebody else that they are compatible with. But there's a choice. There's a choice. Do you want to let go of the current commitment that you're comfortable with? to go with the one that you uh, feel the new connection with, that kind of thing. Um, there's a commitment, a current commitment in the way of a soulmate contract, put it that way, okay? There's a separation that needs to happen, okay? It does. It needs to happen, but the choice will be either yours or theirs, whoever's making this choice. This is an unexpected choice in love. You are being called to focus on love. What is love to you? What is most important to you? Do you want to stay in a commitment that is materialistic, that is based on materialistic value? Or do you want to go after somebody that you are aligned with? Somebody that you're kindred spirits with? This is the perfect union. This is somebody that you are very attracted to. It's a mutual. You have shared values. It's like you're falling in love with this person. And or they are, or your person is falling in love with this person. We do have a new connection here, period. But there's a separation that is needed so that these two people can connect. And I do feel like these two people are going to be connected because I see a sudden departure and a sudden arrival. This happens all very, very fast, I believe. I do believe there is somebody that has been thinking about leaving for quite some time. They've been And they've been thinking about what their next steps are, whether they should stay, whether they should go. They've been pretending to be happy. It's been very superficial. It's been very shallow. They've been staying put, avoiding, avoiding the truth, refusing to move on. And I think, I think that now we come to a point where I think there's some sort of truth that comes out. And it does because of that, that um, Knight of Swords. That's truth. That's a speaker of truth. Some sort of truth comes out and um, a choice needs to be made. And I think a choice is going to be made. I do believe there's going to be some sort of uh, disconnection from the wrong one and a connection with the right one. I think that somebody is is heading in a new direction. Uh, very matter-of-factly, it's like... And they could get kicked out. Somebody could get kicked out or they may decide They because it's a choice. They may decide to leave. They may decide to leave. And uh, there could be even be an, a, a new engagement here. If you are single, if you are single and you, you are watching this, you could come together with somebody very, very suddenly. And, you know, this could be love at first sight. Or this could be a soulmate that... Uh, you uh, were connected to at another time in your life. This is definitely a soulmate connection here. Put it that way. Whether this is somebody new or somebody that um, you abandoned in the past or they abandoned you or whatever the case is, this is definitely a soulmate connection. But the soulmate connection, these two people don't get to come together until this separation happens. So there is a separation that is needed, and it is a complete separation. We have somebody here that has been procrastinating because they've been having a hard time choosing. They've been having a hard time uh, deciding, you know, which way to go. It's time to decide. It is definitely time to decide. To decide. They may have been dealing, and the reason they may have been procrastinating is because they may have been dealing with somebody that was using emotional blackmail to make them feel guilty you know feel guilty for following their heart but my advice is to follow your heart i think that you have an opportunity to firm up your foundation but it does come with making a decision in regards to that partner that you don't want to be with anymore good luck